What is going on guys? Welcome to the vlog. Not gonna lie guys, today's video is gonna be informational but boring as f I figured we do enough dumbass sh channel that it's good to counter it a little bit with you know some actual good informational content. So with that said, let's get on to the video. So I literally just filmed the entire vlog and realized after playing it back on my phone, holy crap, the audio sucks. It's really bad. So I readjusted the microphone. Um, I actually have more duct tape underneath my chin. I'm still experimenting. So I got like two pieces of tape covering like the bottom of the helmet to prevent more wind from getting in. But um, originally I had the microphone in my cheek pad. So now it's literally directly in front of my mouth and it looks like it's gonna be a lot better. All right, I think we're finally good. Hopefully, we'll see. I just filmed the entire video again and realized the microphone wasn't plugged in. So for a fourth or fifth time, let's try it. In the previous video, we briefly touched on Hurricane Harvey. I just wanna say our thoughts are going out to the victim. I know everyone in Houston is going through some tough shit and I can't tell you guys how bad Zach and I wanna go down there and help. Unfortunately, we can't with work and school and it really sucks because I I just think it'd be awesome to go down there it's Something I really want to do but can't because life gets in the way and that sucks Today's topic is insurance something that many people like myself don't really want until you absolutely need it as the title implies for this 2015 Yamaha R3 I'm paying five dollars a month for insurance on it. And yes, I'm 19 years old I've had my license since I was uh, 16 years old or so technically technically 15 But that was just a provisional license, but I've had my full-on license since I've been 16 So I've been licensed now for three years. Yeah, that surprised me too guys honestly And I'm gonna explain to y'all a couple things that has helped me get my rates as low as it is today thing number one to do to really help out lower your insurance is credit so whenever i turned 18 one of the first things i did was go out and get a credit card now i know i'm not alone a lot of kids that you know just turning 18 they go out and do the same but a lot of people mess up their credit um i got mine solely to build credit now i'm not gonna lie every now and then i have used my credit card to save my ass a couple times it kind of turned into that but what matters is i was responsible about it and always paid my bill on time so the biggest thing with credit is to make sure you always pay your bill on time and that's one thing i always did is i was never late on my uh, payment in fact i say 90 percent of the time i paid 10 days like early something along those lines so i always pay my bill on time and somehow some way whenever i applied for my credit card i actually got a 600 dollars limit which i think for an 18 year old is a lot try to use it as like view it as a tool to build your credit because when you get older um there's so many different things where your credit will come in handy and it's honestly very hard growing up uh, it's very hard being an adult and not having any credit score so when you're 18 you don't really need a credit score you really don't but it's great to start building it when you're young so i've had my credit for about a year now never missed a payment and my credit score is pretty good as a result of it um obviously only a year of credit is nothing compared to people that have 10 years 20 years of credit but it definitely helps a ton especially for the younger crowd so that's number one guys get a credit card build your credit be responsible with it don't be stupid number two and this topic i have been less than stellar at and that is having a clean driving record by that I mean no speeding tickets. That is a huge factor whenever you're going to get insurance. Uh, they will pull up your driving record and see if you have any speeding tickets. Now I will admit, the first year I had my license, I managed to rack up three speeding tickets, which in the state of Texas is grounds for getting your license revoked. Luckily I was smart about it and I did the work, I did the I put in the effort and I got all of them dropped. Now this isn't really a video to explain how to get out a speeding ticket, but I'll give you a brief summary. My first speeding ticket, I went ahead and did defensive driving. Now you can only do this if it's you know under a certain speed. None of these speeding tickets are really that bad, guys. I think the worst one was like 20 over. Second time I got a ticket, since I was a minor, you might be able to do this as an adult, but since I was 16, I was able to go and do community service. Now 
it was a lot of work i had to put in like 30 hours of community service obviously it's community service it's great you know you're helping people um i think i helped build houses for like habitat humanity or something i had a lot of fun doing it i actually had a brennan uh brennan got a speeding ticket too and he, he did it he did it right there with me so that was pretty funny and then the third time i got a speeding ticket guys I went ahead and uh, I actually ran out of options because you only you can only do those two things. I went ahead. Luckily, I was 17 at the time. My parents had no idea I had that third speeding ticket, and at the time I was still on their insurance because you can't you can't have insurance to your name if you're under 18. So I was still on their insurance, and I didn't want them to find out. So. Apparently at the age of uh, 17 in Texas, you can actually go out and hire a traffic lawyer. So I went out, it was expensive as hell for it, for me being, you know, 17, it was like 70 bucks. I paid for a traffic lawyer, had to take another defensive driving course, and they placed me on traffic probation for 90 days. Luckily, I got no tickets within those 90 days, and the third ticket was dropped. So, I got lucky. Uh, after that third ticket, I stopped getting speeding tickets. That's right around the same time I got rid of the Miata too, but um that's a different story so guys keep a clean driving record and don't think that after you get your policy you can go ahead and get speeding tickets that's not the case every insurance company is different but a lot of them every six months or so they will go ahead and pay for a copy of your driving record to go ahead and see if you got any new surprises on there i don't know what this guy's doing so yeah the third thing this is also a big one is make sure you don't go uh, you don't have a lapse in coverage if at all possible guys whenever you get your own policy you start paying for your own insurance always try to pay your bill like i know it's hard sometimes i know especially for the younger crowd like i'm, I'm in the same boat car insurance is hella expensive i was paying 150 dollars on the floor for liability only that's a lot of money when you're young it really is don't get me wrong anyways guys that's how i'm paying five dollars a month for insurance on this bike I just had to make a video about this because I actually found out yesterday that going to liability was going to drop down to $5 a month. So hopefully y'all learned a thing or two. That's all I got for that story. Yesterday, Zach actually broke his key off in his bike for the second time. This is the second bike he's done this to uh, in his Jixxer. For some reason, my brights are on. They broke the key off in the ignition and now... I don't even know how the hell he's gonna fix it. He's gonna fix it somehow, but he made a vlog on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that footage now. Enjoy. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but that's Alex pushing my bike. I'm on a katana, and I meet him over here. Woo! That was close. I almost died. Right, and this is what's left for my key, guys. Yeah. So now I gotta do this. His bike is my key. Oh, you're cool, bud. So yeah, um, the key broke on the Jixxer. So now I gotta buy a freaking uh, run, Forrest, run. You can do it. Run, Forrest, run. Don't drop my girl. Don't drop my girl. You're talking about your face. What's up, bro? What? Subscribe to him. You know what it is? Dad on Hey, you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, it's called Novice Garage. Novice Garage. Yeah, now I was garage. Oh. oh my god, bro. I need to get in your phone. I didn't crack it. Who somebody cracked it? Bought him my phone. Somebody else, yeah, somebody else somebody cracked it? Get it fixed. Novice and then garage. Yeah. yeah, garage. This isn't my bike. If you guys look right over there, that is actually my bike. Okay, so it's Novice and Garage? Yeah. Okay. My key actually broke when we were getting gas. Okay. And so my brother's having to push my bike up the hill. We we're down at the gas station, right? And my key broke. And I can't really do anything because I'm wearing this boot right now. But that's that's my bike over there. So you about to post this video on Instagram, <sighs> YouTube? Uh, it'll probably be posted. I don't say probably like a day or two. Is this it? That's up. Yeah, that's us. Yeah. Forty two thousand. God, man. Yeah, that's us. Uh, follow me at Instagram L Chapo underscore. Oh my god, El Chapo stop, on a square. Stop plugging. I thought it was El Chapo. Okay, go on. Hey, does he do this? El Chapo. <laughs> and Dad's when you do it. Hey, bro, do you do this? El Chapo. Happy and Dad. El Chapo. Dot <laughs> underscore dot. Dot. Dot dot. Follow me on the underscore young royal.
the younger under I don't I don't freaking know the younger score what yeah D A underscore Young Royal okay okay yeah you guys you guys go follow them myself L dot underscore dot chapo underscore bro you gotta put a shirt on though you can't you can't be always walking around on a shirt like put, put put a shirt on that'd be better don't forget D A underscore Young Royal Young Royal okay. I can't wait either, because this is going to be funny as hell. <laughs> hey, there he is. I love you. You're the best brother in the world. Yeah, I kind of kind of want big time for this one. Y'all watch, hey, watch the channel. Y'all see the video. Woo. I just realized there's a cow on top of that crane. That is hilarious. Like, obviously, it's not a real cow. It's a fake cow. But I'm assuming some, you know, higher up guy, some manager, had a little bit of humor. He's like, on lunch break, he's, only, he's thinking, dude, we should put a cow on top of the fucking crane, bro. That's funny. Zach just sent me a link for a, uh, for a Subaru. Zach's trying to get a Subaru again. What the f*** are you doing, bro?